Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Azathen, and we're here with some Azeroth Wars action for you, you fine people on this wonderful day. I'm looking forward to bringing you this game, this is the most recent BOTR clan match, not actually pure clan match, but just, you know, by invite, they set them up on DiplomUnion.com, you can go there, they have a thread called Announcement of Games, you can sign up, pick your, you know, color, whatever you want, you'll be in on the game, and they won't start without you. Unless you're super late, which I always am, and I never get into this. Oh, I think I was signed up for blue for this game. Let's see who uh, filled my spot. <gasps> of course, it was Nazulin. Nazulin, you cheeky monkey, you stole my spot. Here we are, immediately resurrecting these things using the cra Frozen Thrones ability to oh, animate oh, dead. He's going to go ahead and use these to creep. I like that very much, giving yourself some faster early game units. Purple did manage to steal these creeps. And all right, let's go ahead and see who's playing today. Stake on spear playing brown, complexity is dark green, west flame light blue, eat my head is gray, hexaodal is pink, samil is green, frozen grip is orange, enclop is yellow, juku is purple, utl unlimited is teal, nerzulin is blue, and xenon sof is red. Oh my god, utl is teal? Fuck! <laughs> All right, Pink's moving out into the Barrens. He's going to claim those control points and creeps extremely quickly. Light blue is, my guess, on the move. Yes, he's moving south. Taking a, West Flame taking a little bit too much damage from those creeps, but what are you going to do? He should be sending these out, too. These are more than sufficient to creep Unguro Crater. Blue moving out with his Dreadlords. Uh, Teal. Ooh, looks like Teal actually got all the creeps here. Driving Magni and the rest of the dwarves back. Oh, UTL so quickly stealing these. And this is a lot of money in his pocket and taken out of Yellow's. And Yellow's just still up here dealing with this. Not locking down. He should be using these engineers to lock down the cannon towers. And Klopp. Oh, looks like you're not in the loop, and Klopp. You are definitely not in Klopp. Teal, already moving out, destroyed the base, Netherguard keep is gone, now he's going to be taking Swamp of Sorrows, not a chance that's going to survive, and now a dark green, is he at all ready for this? No, Complexity, you are not moving quickly enough, you are going to have a UTL in your front door if you don't cover up that bridge very quickly. And it looks like green is, ooh, green actually landed in Northrend. He's going to be stealing these creeps from red. I love this move. Samil, you're so cheeky. I love it when you get all ahead of yourself and act like you're cool. <gasps> I love it. Question is, can he take out what Nerzulin has here? He's doing a very good job targeting down these abominations. His elven warriors are going to eventually fall, and then these squishier units in the back oh, are going to take some damage. The hero starts to take a little bit of damage. You got to remember, okay, so it looks like Samil's just going for the control point, interestingly enough. He should slide up here, see if he can nab Drak there and keep. The only problem is all these creeps are in the way along with their towers. Teal, <gasps> looks like Uteal Unlimited going directly for the improved cannon tower. He's not going to even wait a second. He's got all these horde cavalry. <gasps> He's streaming up. He's going to be taking out the back buildings here. He's taking out the workshops, the lumber mills, the scout towers, the arcane sanctums. They're all going down. And what do you do is dark green. You have to ask yourself, do I have the time? And this is very good use. He didn't throw a ton of units in there. Uteal just sent in enough units to do some damage while the demolisher did damage from the back. And these units snuck in. Oh my goodness, is he... This is impossible, what? Oh my god, UTL is just smashing his way into Complexity's base. Complexity's got a pretty good force here that can hold off, I believe it could hold off most of what UTL has, but UTL is so spread out. Oh my god, he's going directly for these barracks. He wants to take out every barracks he can possibly find. I think this one's going to be the next one targeted. He can take down that one. That will leave Dark Green with only one barracks and almost no way of reinforcing permanently. Looks like Dark Green is just going to hold right there. He's not going to do anything else. Some <laughs> I don't know what UTL is. Suddenly he loves these Horde Cavalry. He has never used them in the games that I've seen, but now he is just smashing face with them. Oh my goodness, I've been missing some serious action up here, guys. Sorry, this is just a jam-packed game. Okay, I want to be clarified. Gray is moving up. Light blue is moving down. Gray is going to be assaulting the Nidals while the uh, light blue is out of position. Blue, trying to hold per, uh, orange off, is going to be using his Dreadlords and these Shadow Priests to dispel. Red, meanwhile, is going absolutely crazy. Red and blue both getting tons of these meat wagons hoping that they can kill off a lot of these units and thereby free up some corpses for these necromancers to use. Kel'Thuzad's still alive, level 3 in the back. He even has these 
flying destroyer things. But purple, <gasps> purple might be breaking through. Oh no, Kel'Thuzad gets nabbed. Kel'Thuzad could get focused down here. Uh, and he's gonna go. He's gonna go down. Oh, he heals himself. Oh, this might not be the end of Kel'Thuzad. He just has to move his own units. And he's dead, ladies and gentlemen. Kel'Thuzad falls. Oh my goodness. And now Dark Green and Yellow are trying to make some kind of advancements against Teal. But you gotta remember, Teal has just been running rampant throughout Complexity's lands. And now the Complexity's left this gate lightly defended. Actually, no. It looks like Dark Green, ready for that. He's made some of those free... Axemen, but might actually just send them away. Okay, you gotta be careful. You don't want UTL to break into your back door when you're not expecting it. <laughs> you don't want anyone to break into your back door when you're not expecting it. Another night falls, corpses littering the ground everywhere, and now Orange is starting to move up. Frozen Grip. What is Frozen Grip gonna aim this game, I wonder? I mean, there's there's nothing that he can aim except maybe Stromgard? I don't know. What, what will he do? What is his purpose in life? These free Axemen are being used to kill off the Felark Raiders, not a bad use. Zero, zero upgrade still for complexity while UTL still has one, one. Alright, UTL, where are all those units? You had a lot, but they seem to have just died. You gotta remember, complexity only has one, one barracks. He has one barracks and no Arcane Sanctums. That's his entire production capabilities in the south, is one barracks. Blue, nope. Red and blue still having trouble, although, damn, he's getting really cocky. He's trying to get in there. All right, good job, good hold, blue. All right, gray, gray is smashing face through light blue's old lands. I don't even think, all right, if light blue brings some ships over here, he could actually probably hold off the army there. Light blue, where is your army at the moment? It's posted outside of the ruins of Eldrathas. <gasps> and here's the move, here's the move from Teal. He's gonna go directly for the keep, get rid of those free summoned units. This is a very interesting tactic I'm seeing here. Basically, he's making it so that his opponent just can't build enough units to fight him. He's getting rid of these keeps, getting rid of the free units, and after that he can take out the barracks and then just slowly work his way through the units. Oh, good use of dispels there. We do see that Dark Green was wise enough to upgrade his priest one level. Gotta watch out. You don't want to lose Kha'Zix to Supreme. Uh, Teal's up to 2 on upgrades. Yellow still not feeling comfortable enough. Damn, there's a lot of Teal corpses there. But finally, Yellow driven back in the face of the sheer overwhelming numbers of the Horde Cavalry. UTL, what is this Horde Cavalry build you are showing us? It is beautiful. I'm loving it. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm UTL. Micro! Alright, what's what's going on now? What's Everything is so excited. Red still trying to continue this assault. He's targeting down the Silverhand Paladins with these destroyers. Not much that Purple has can shoot up, actually. An Air Force from Red is super effective, as long as it doesn't get targeted down by Green. Now, these Chain Hills are going to be a little bit difficult, but the whole idea is you just want to get enough Necromancers to resurrect enough things... Alright, UTL Unlimited very wisely moving out all around the place, taking extra control points for free. He's just starving his opponent and ensuring that there's no way he can produce anything. Meanwhile, I think UTL is actually assaulting Yellow at the same time. My god, these Horde Cavalry are proving to be extremely effective. Rend, watch out Rend. You're only level 6, Rend. Don't get ballsy, man. Getting a little too confident. Again, Complexity is sitting at one barracks for his entire production capabilities. UTL even taking out the marketplaces, he's just basically, he's, he's getting pillage gold, I believe, every time he attacks with those units. We're going to have to watch and make sure, but I'm pretty sure he's getting pillage gold from those guys. Alright, what's going on? <gasps> pink, oh my god, pink and gray absolutely wipe out Light Blue's army. I think Light Blue just lost everything he had trying to take. No, no, he did get Chandra's Feather Moon out of there, but he lost... Toronto Whisperwind. Brown, now moving in against the Warsong Lumber Camp. He's going to try to take down these improved watchtowers as quickly as possible. And Plague, there we go. The Plague isn't activated. And because of their aggressiveness, the North Alliance has had absolutely no time to get rid of these peasants. And Blue is doing a very good job of holding Orange back in here with just a few of these units. Just these Dispels and the Meat Wagons are enough to make sure that those Hydromancers are going to be hard pressed to do anything at all. <laughs> Misha is going to take out this solo, it appears, unless a uh, Night Elven battleship can kill it off before. I don't know, it's going to be close. I think this might dis. Unsummon before it. Uh, no, Misha's going to solo Aberdyne. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Teal. Oh my god, Teal absolutely crushed through that. <gasps> Dark Green has been driven back to the gates of Stormwind. He has literally no production capability whatsoever. Cathedral of Light, that is all he has right now. Never mind, he has a barracks. <laughs> he has an barracks. Yellow, I don't know if he built the tram, but Yellow has been unable to break through Blackrock Knight now. Teal just sending nothing but... Oh god, he's hero targeting with these Fell Orc Warlocks. Very difficult to deal with. Alright, we're gonna keep our thing on UTL, see if we're getting uh, pillage gold from his attacks. Light blue trying to move up and stabilize. Gray pushing brown out of there. These furball shamans are very good, they can heal up the mountain giants, making them even harder to kill. Oh, oh, alright. He, he's cloaking red black hand, oh my god. Enclop is getting his face smashed right now by UTL. Oh, UTL. I think UTL wants to kill off Murrin and Bronzebeard. I think that's his ultimate goal right now. That or Bail Gun. <laughs> now he's saying, don't deer mass bears. Oh, man. Now Stormwind is trying to hold on. It's trying so violently. The captains are fighting against Magtheron, and Magtheron is laughing his ass off at the complete ineffectiveness of what's going on. I think he even, oh, back there has got the crown. This is done, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think there's any way that you can t UTL can be denied control. And meanwhile, Red has smashed his way through Anderhal, taken it convincingly. He's moved past the all-important choke point, past the Anderhal bridges, and now he's out in the open. He can go one of three ways. Complexity leaves the game, Dark Green calling it a GG. Oh my goodness, and now purple suddenly in a very bad spot. Orange just cannot compete against what blue has been throwing at him. Frozen Grip is lost. He, he, he's sitting here going, there's nothing to aim. I don't understand how game works when cannot aim. Ah, oh, that's what you get, Frozen Grip. <laughs> Brown is finally managing to push gray back. Gray does not want to lose these orc champions. 2-2 two, two upgrades for gray. Brown is at 1-2, but you know what? I gotta say, these mountain giants have so much health. They're so effective, and with that furball heal, it, it's too good. And plus, they have Brilliance Aura from Chandra... Chan... Chan... Fandral. Fandral Staghelm. <laughs> Blue and red have now smashed the ever-living hell out of Capital Palace. Capital City is going to go down. It looks like Blue and red might soon have a crown to call their own, and they're gonna need it because Teal is just destroying. Enclop may try to hold on here. He's going to do his very best to hold against UTL. The tavern's healing him up as best he can, but he's going to break that tavern. He's like, dude, UTL, what did we do wrong? And UTL's going to say nothing. Teal is just super fucking good. Okay. Red and blue, clearing up. Light blue, getting caught out of position once again. Excellent use of lightning shield on these huntresses probably drop it on the archers it's even more effective i would love to see one get dropped on the archers right about now there we go excellent west flame now has his archers lightning shield and he has no dispel to get rid of it right now meanwhile oh my god he is getting pillage gold look at that gold utl is just skyrocketing every like 10 attacks he just has enough for another unit i know you guys were going to be positionally each time because there was no deception that's true basically there was no question where they were going to be at any point Mac there and laughing at the Dwarven Keep Tower. Ha ha ha! You think I fear you, you silly bitch? Alright, now the question is, who did Red give the crown to? Did he give it to Anubarak? Anubarak's only level 5. Now, Red and Blue have to hurry the fuck up. They have to either smash their Silver Moon, get Kel'Thuzad and summon the Demon la that way, or they have to move even closer to Teal, attack the Violet Citadel, and hope that they can take it down, get the book, and get out in time before UTL is, gets to north. Oh my god, hold on guys, I'm gonna mute for one second because allergies are killing me. Alright, welcome back, sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> god, I need some tissues and a new body, basically, is what I need. Enclop, holding on, Enclop, where are you? Enclop, where did you go? Did you just get smashed, was that it? Yeah, Dave Rolf's not like that good. UTL is better than Dave Rolf, and there's a player that's even better than UTL. Alright, green's holding on. Purple is pretty much smashed. He does have this extra army up here, but I think it all just died? Where, where, oh, purple brought the army in there. Okay. Oh, god. 
damn orange is getting wiped out. This blue has been practicing dispelling everything using the siege units on the Hydromancers. Dreadlord's doing AoE damage. It's just blue is just countering the ever living hell out of orange right now. Orange smart enough to go ahead and get the detection. I often forget. Frozen Grip is going to have to try really hard to hold on against blue. Now, blue and red are splitting up. This might be a bad idea considering the fact that UTL is coming, guys. He is going to be coming north extremely quickly. And, okay, so red actually being driven back a little bit here. Oh, this is not good. He may have just gotten caught out of position a little bit too hard. He needs to be very careful. Taking out a Dalos Blackmore is always good. We're seeing zero upgrades from uh, Juku. I don't think he's had time, but getting that defensive upgrades for those Silverhand Paladins just makes them ever so much more durable. Oh god, you don't want to lose the crown on Anubarak. Alright, using the crown, keeping things alive, doing the AoE damage. Come on, god, that is so difficult for them to beat. Just a few, there we go, you need those, ah, there you go. Starting to land those catapult hits in the middle of that army. But guys, remember, Teal, UTL does not waste time. He's already going to start building a forward base if these Felwork Peons are any indication. Indeed they are. Barracks, Bestiary, and I'm guessing, uh, there we go, Spirit Lodge. It looks like the Horde might actually be, no, Brown is still seriously giving uh, Grey a run for his money. Light Blue is trying to hold on here at Feathermoon Stronghold if he just builds a couple more ships. These Night Open Battleships, oh, they do so much damage, there's no way to push in for Pink right now. Oh, okay, so let's see. Oh, I thought they were allying and Klopso continued to fight, but it looks like he's just not actually doing anything. <laughs> Saying, why are you telling like, I need to kill your stuff off. People can come back from even the smallest amount of things, and then I'd get sad and die and alone, I'm dead. Blue, how are you doing on working down? Okay, so he's slowly working down these gates. He's killed off two of the northern towers. Well, I guess they are technically the eastern towers, and the southern towers have to fall next. Couple Hydromancers moving through, they're gonna get unnecessarily carrion swarmed. <laughs> Nerzulin could build up this base at any time if he wants. Excellent use of the mana burn there. You gotta remember, Felsockers are not only good for hitting units and taking away their mana, but also for just straight up mana burning. It's a lot of damage, it's a guaranteed damage basically on each Felsocker, and rarely can you say that a unit is gonna deal guaranteed damage. Pink desperately trying to get up here into Feathermoon Stronghold, but he just can't get past that navy. And meanwhile, Gray is, my guess, probably still having trouble with... Brown? Where's Brown? Oh yeah, no, he's definitely having a problem with Brown. Brown is moving down slowly, just eating his way through the Stone Mall Warriors. This little champion group is gonna try its very best to hold off, but it's actually looking like Pink and Gray are falling behind a little bit too much. Red, oh, ooh, Red looks like he's gonna be streaming right up into, no, you wanna take this base if at all possible. Blue, has Blue finally managed it? Blue's doing a good job, but it's starting to look a little iffy. He's gotta use these Warlocks, summon more of those things in. Come on, always be summoning off your Warlocks. Uh, and oh my god, it looks like UTL sent a absolute fuck ton of these units down here. And the Dark Irons have managed to clean it up thus far. Ragnaros still stands. He's actually gaining levels just from the death happening around him. You guys gotta remember that. If you actually fight a lot down in Blackrock, he'll gain levels. Red, you cannot afford to sit still. <laughs> and Xenon's like, Teal, would you mind at all going to Kalimdor before you kill us? Oh, it's Xenon. <laughs> Have to go north now. <laughs> Alright, so if Blue, Nerzulin just needs to get... <laughs> he just needs to get the book and then he needs to leave. To, guys, you have like a minute. You have a minute left until Teal starts really fucking you over hard. <gasps> oh my god, and Klopp has Falstad? I don't see him. Where is he, here? No, I'm not... There. <gasps> Falstad, he's mine. Teal is still destroying yellow, and Klopp actually holding on fairly well, but I think at the end of the day it's gonna end up being an exercise in futility. Spell Orc Raiders, the upgrades are now 5-4 for UTL. Blue! Blue is smashing his way. He knows UTL is right out there. The only question is, is UTL going to have detection? No, it's not going to matter. They've got a scroll, scroll of teleportation. He can teleport back here, try to hold up right here in uh, Skullamance, and Red just back up a little bit, try to hold, and if they try, anyone tries to attack you, basically, if you're just holding here, Teal and Purple and Green are going to be fighting each other. Our town is 
Brown, how goes your push? God, this in these really action-packed games, it's hard to keep up. Actually, Brown has been pushed back into here. Uh, Light Blue finally has the ability to move out. Looks like Featherman Stronghold no longer being threatened, but Pink has gone the roundabout route, perhaps. No, Light Blue's gonna know. West Flame's gonna see that he's being attacked, or just pinging the map for some reason over here. Oh, but there's a huge convergence of units coming here. Some from Light Blue, Griffins from Yellow, Pink moving down. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, Gray is getting a huge amount of damage down on Light Blue's army, but West Flame still alive. Chandra's level 6 starting to look very powerful. Once she gets to level 10, that's going to be a game changer. Brown needs to be moving south as quickly as he can because Featherwood Stronghold is in danger. Light Blue knows that too, so he's moving to the left. And how is Teal looking? <gasps> Teal is already smashing his way through. Blue, <gasps> Blue, did you get out? Blue, Blue, you need to get the fuck out. Blue, you, you need Blue. Where are you, Nerzulin? Where are your heroes? You, you can teleport. Okay, he got at least Tychondrius out. That's the most important thing. The rest of his army, he decided, fuck it. I don't even need the rest of the army. All I need is the Legion. Seems a little short-sighted to me, but let's see how that works out for him in the end. Retreating, you want to keep the Dreadlords alive at least. Blue, come on, exit the other way. This, there's still stuff out here? No, there's like nothing outside. You could just break the door and leave. But UTL Unlimited being a kind of a cheeky tick has broken these gates, rebuilt them so that no matter what happens, Blue has to destroy these gates. <gasps> Blue, Blue, you could get Mac Theroden. <gasps> you could have put him to sleep, surrounded him, and then just absolutely fucked him. Oh, come on, Blue, just attack him. You have enough catapults. Attack the fucking gate. Blue, do you not see what's going on? I don't think Blue knows that his units are just uselessly milling about because there is no way for him to get out right now. Teal's units are starting to come out of the portal. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Uh. Teal's units are all over the place. He's taking just... Point by point. What is this? Blue. He's got ships, but what are they for? They're not for a drop. It looks like Blue's units are finally being murdered by... Ah, oh, yeah, that didn't work out too well, Blue. Oh, and all these Dreadlords are going to die. That hurts. Brown and Light Blue finally meeting up. They managed to crush Pink for the most part, but Pink is rebuilding his whole army. Some did manage to get out. He swung it down south, right past the Navy and the base. Hoping. He's saying, we need to cooperate versus Teal, everyone, or else we die. Yeah, Uteal has 40 control points, so... Huh. Yeah. He's just moving around with a hero squad, raping everything because he can afford to. Actually, Red's hero squad might be able to make a bit of a dent if they're they're controlled correctly. Oh, he's trying to get... He's trying to get Mag Theridin, but no. Teal is sending in more units. Mag Theridin, Mag Theridin. He's getting surrounded. No, he gave the crown to someone else. I have no idea what's going on right now. Teal, do you have the crown on any of your heroes? Rend? Maybe he gave it to Rend. Yes, excellent move. Got the hell out of there. Baron Rivendare fell. Oh, you need to you need to move that. You need to Oh, okay. Okay. He, he got that out of there very quickly. Cosmic the Supreme has died once. Their units being summoned. What the hell? We're under attack. Oh, that's right. Red's building can summon these units. Look, they just look like little birds. Fly to me, little birds, and then reappear right there. All right, so Teal is vastly kicking everyone's ass. There's really no doubt about it. Brown, Snake on Spear, actually accepting a bad engagement against Eat My Head right there. Eat My Head is a far better concave, but hopefully these heroes will change that. There we go. Snake on Spear moving back, evening it out a little bit. Now that the Keepers of the Grove are here. This is actually a really good Calendar fight. This Calendar fight's been going on for a half hour now. And there's really no winners or losers. And <laughs> purple and green are like, oh, great. No, it's fine. It's just fucking, it's fucking great. Because I was really hoping that as soon as red left, the teal would show up. And then we'd have to deal with that. And chaos damage and even better upgrades. Because that's just super assholes. Skullman's cleared out by just a few horde cavalry. They do the damage and they do the work. Pink moving down. <gasps> okay. Brown, how's this engagement going to go for you? Stake on Spear, you got to be careful. Don't focus too much or else your heroes are going to get out of position and your ultimate unit, your elite squad, is going to be in danger. All right, Light Blue trying to hold down here against Pink. Pink, Hexaodal is all over the place. He's north, he's south, he's left, he's right. He's like UTL in the last game that we casted. <gasps> but now Brown is pretty much all alone. So I think Brown's going to win the fight against Gray, but I think Pink's going to win the fight against Light Blue. Yes, again, excellent use of that lightning shield. Light Blue's army has such low health 
You need that AoE constantly taking away at it in order to win. All right, looks like Purple, Green, and OJ are gonna try to hold up here. <laughs> Catching all the Black Drakes with the chains and holding them off. That is That was excellent work there by Juku. Now, Teal has the question, do I move up into the completely undefended Quel'Thalas, or do I try to attack Stratholm? My guess is he's gonna just go Tyr's hand. <laughs> when presented with two options, go with the third. Transport ships, blue, sending transport ships up there for no reason, as far as I can tell. Ren, Black Hand is now level 11, Mag Therid in 10, Zula had 9, Kargath 9. Brown, indeed, did defeat Grey in that fight. Pink did, indeed, defeat Light Blue in that fight. Now he's going to go for Cthune. I think he's hoping that maybe the item will make some kind of a difference, but I can't imagine how that would be. Mag Theridan getting caught out of position, slightly stunned. Oh, if they're not careful. Oh my god, Frozen Grip, what are you doing? Frozen Grip, focusing so much on aiming demolishers, he's going to lose these Kirin Tor that he cannot reproduce. Oh, Burning Blade Masters is so mean. Mag Theridan falls once again. You guys gotta be careful. Just fight a little bit and then back up bit by bit. Okay, the Paladins are holding their own. 1-1 one, one upgrade versus 6-5. The Fell Horde never stood a chance. Using the chains to lock everything. That's actually super effective. I'm trying to imagine how Teal moves in there if you have enough of these guys to just literally chain lock down everything in front. I mean, you just... Does Teal even have dispels that can deal with that? <gasps> oh god, Archimonde, you need to run the fuck away. Okay, god. Oh god. <laughs> Warmaster Moon's just still tossing axes at everything because that's what he does all day. That's what he that's how he spends his free time. Light blue getting a flank on pink. Oh my god, Hexaodal. Brown, move over here. Help help light blue. He's got the perfect positioning, but light blue is slowly losing all of his units to that lightning shield. It's so awesome. And yeah, he's like once Teal reaches the North Alliance, there's just so many bases and things spread around. Let's be UTL's money is yeah, it's, it's going up pretty quickly. Oh my god, it's going up really quickly. Plus his income is just stupidly high. There we go. Purple trying to lock these down. Save the base if he can. Juku, you gotta be careful. If you move out of position, Teal could move back in and block you out. No, but green was blocking that. Okay. Giving purple at least time to retreat if he needs to. Now red. Red's moving back in. He's got a full group of stuff. Archimonde's ready to help. I think we could be seeing a big engagement between Teal, Red, and Blue. Light blue and brown are now going to meet up once again. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the horde. I don't see any way in which the horde can come back from this fight at this point. They pretty much have to crush the night elves very, very early on. They can't just do like a little back and forth because the night elves can be much more effective. Alright, here it is. Red has landed. Blue is ready. Archimonde is prepared. He's got boots. He's got ring. He's ready. Uh, no, South Alliance wasn't bad. They're actually good players, but UTL is fucking phenomenal. Oh my god, and now Teal is getting completely caught in between. Guy, Blue, seriously, go. Right now. Blue, Red. If you can catch Teal, you can get everything. Just, just, just come on. Ugh. Eat my head telling Juku that his attitude is not admirable. Come on, seriously, Blue, Red, get the fuck in there. They can't fucking kill you if you would just fight. Okay, Book of Medivh is gone. They've got to watch out. God, why don't you just land an army and use actual things? Oh, Teal is now streaming back, of course, because if Red and Blue had just attacked, they would have sandwiched him, and it would have been... <gasps> oh, God, Archimon. Okay, Archimon is out in the ocean. There's no way to really effectively hit him right now. Tiny little bits of damage being taken, but overall he's completely fine. Oh, Red Black Hand almost gets aimed down. They have to be very careful. Red, Red, Red Black Hand is just like right there. Come on, purple and green. Somebody push out and kill UTL. For God's sake, he's just right there. Nobody cares though. Oh, careful, Archimon. Teal is bloodthirsty for your blood. Like brown and light blue are going to be finishing on the last bastion of Hexaodal. It's going to go down now. Dear God, you have the money to actually build, you know, an army, and they're not. They're not actually using their money to build an army, and that's infuriating me. Pink saying GG, <laughs> Xenon finally, yay! And they're like, we could really use some help against Teal if you guys want to go. <laughs> now, Nether Dragons, super good unit. They do do AOE chaos damage to ground units. Uh, uh, they might catch Mag Theridan out of place again. No, but it doesn't matter. It's Ren Blackhand's the one they need to kill. He's the one who's got the crown. 
Come on, guys. Teal is assaulting the base, like, right now. If you just go in, you'll be great. I swear, you'll be fine. Yeah, uh, everything's getting caught. Oh, careful. Ooh, Arthas, looking good. Level 6, they're holding. It's very effective. Teal, not actually reinforcing with any units. He's he's really just surviving with what he has. There we go. Now we're seeing Horde Cavalry being brought up. 7-7 seven, seven upgrades. Red is going to start snatching up some of UTL's control points. Very good idea. Slowly tick away at his income and increase yours. Because, honestly, there's no way to kill him right now in a straight-up engagement. He just has too much money. He's focused completely on upgrades, so by the time you actually engage with him, his upgrades will be all done. He'll be at 8-8, and then he can start spamming units. He's not going to start spamming units early on. He wants the upgrades, and then he wants to spam. And that's exactly the way you have to do it. Let's look at Red's units right here. 3-3 uh, three, three upgrades versus the soon-to-be 8-8. Eight, eight. Teal, is that you moving up? Yeah, just a few Horde Cavalry trying to haul off uh, some mills using just towers. Welcome to the tower defense zone, bitches. Indeed, the North Alliance is now tower defense central. We're under <gasps> Pink, moving out. Teal, UTL is likely to be under assault from all angles, guys. Xenon, losing that. That's fine. He's going to get mad and use the chaos damage to kill off these horde cavalry. He says, fuck you, that's why. <gasps> you got to be careful. You don't want these nether dragons to get caught in those things. Move them back. Okay, God, thank God. All right, UTL very wisely backing up, realizing I could just let the North Alliance and the South Alliance, I mean the North Alliance and the uh, Undead fight it out rather than losing my farm army to both of them. I will just be smart. And I'm staring at my glass of ice, hoping that it will turn to water so I can drink it. Oh. Ah, delicious. Literally the coldest thing you can possibly get. What is, oh, it looks like Teal is actually attempting to send some units into Northrend. Interesting. Pink is going to be landing not where you'd expect, but exactly where you wouldn't expect. Halfway between Teal's bases. Fuck attacking, you know, like Stranglethorn, where you can actually get a choke point and stand a chance. No, I want to be assaulted on all sides at all times. Hexaoto, you all are a baller. I love it. Oh, looks like purple and green actually driving them back. Get the fuck. Come on, Archimon. <laughs> Everyone's saying, aim, Archimon. <laughs> looks like red and blue actually avoiding fights, hoping to keep the North Alliance slightly stronger so that they can actually have a chance of surviving against Teal. Hexaodal, 2-2 two, two upgrades. Horde Cavalry, 8-7 upgrades. Mike, there. All of his heroes are level 10 at least now. He did lose Ren Blackhand. Now, did he manage to get the crown on another hero? No. Who killed Ren Blackhand? Is it blue? No. Was it red? Might have been red. He does have two crowns. He has a crown on Baron and a crown on Anubarak. And actually, Baron's actually getting pretty high. He's so high, man. He's getting really high level right now. So we might actually get to see Ramstein get summoned. I'm so excited for that. I'd never see Baron Rivendare get up to level 10. It's a shame, because he's such a baller hero. He's so good. He has an ability that makes his attacks just do 100 extra base damage per hit. It's so ridiculous. Alright. Orange, purple, and green have not given up yet. Despite losing half of their bases, they're holding on. They're holding on strong. Teal is now the force to beat. Oh! Teal has landed a bunch of Horde Cavalry in North right Now he's just... Oh my god. That's just for income. Look at this. He's going to make enough money to make up for the fact that he did this. Just off these units attacking. Oh god, everything falls so quick. Uh, uh, god, look how fast it dies. Doom, 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 doom. Woo! Okay, so... Good job, UTL. UTL focusing down to every building that he can find. Not even attacking units, just building by building. Light blue? Whoa, what are you under attack by, light blue? Teal actually is literally trying to attack every building on the map at the same time. This is unprecedented. His, his macro, is his micro is so unbelievable. Even, look, even getting the units up here, he could start focusing down the Ice Crown Obelisks with almost no effort if he wanted to. He could probably, he could probably kill Red just by doing that. Alright, he's just producing more and more Horde Cavalry. It appears that he's changed his mind. He loves them. They're super good. 38 to 78 damage, 20 armor. 
1050 health, fast move speed, oh, I'm sorry, slow move speed, fast attack speed, plus they can get bloodlust and activate the first strike ability or just the extra strike ability. Blue spamming units, did anyone get the Eye of Sargaros yet? No, nobody's gotten the Eye of Sargaros yet, despite the fact that there's plenty of level 10 heroes on the map so far, mostly for UTL admittedly. Pink, whoa, whoa, okay, hold on, dwarves have, uh, um, I don't understand what I'm seeing here on the allies. <laughs> OJ, Garethos and Admiral Proudmore trying to hold on against Teal. <gasps> Ooh, not Garethos, careful Gary. Oh, Gary. All right, there we go. Excellent, locking down the frontline units. Okay, but there are the, oh, there are the Blade Masters trying to move in around the back. They're taking out, oh, he's gonna take out these irreplaceable Kirin Tor units. That's gonna piss off OJ. There we go, a nice little whirlwind there, gonna do some damage, but actually if they just kept attacking, they probably could have held just fine. But now they've compromised their lines, and now they have to back up and run for their lives. Damn, Teal just smashed that hard. Teal is very much a player who does this tactic of shock and awe. Like, he just wants to scare you into backing up, and that's what kills you, is the fact that you back up. Ugh, losing another Silver and Paladin. God, that's painful. He's trying to reproduce them as quickly as possible, realizing he's not going to have time to reproduce Garethos from that. He needs the Paladins first. He should just build an extra altar. Oh, there's the altar. It'll start resing his heroes there instead. Teal. Got more Horde Orc thingies. He's going to attack from every angle. Brown, or actually Gray, trying to take a little slice out of Northern. He's got the left side there. Blue, sniping some of Teal's control points bit by bit. Archimon not getting that many levels. He needs to be closer to the fights, but god damn, he's so slow. It's just not an option sometimes. Red, blue, sorry, purple, green, and orange licking their wounds in Stratholm at the moment. Meanwhile, Teal controls fucking everything. Ooh, actually producing some Forest Troll Axe Throwers. They're not bad once you get them fully upgraded, but they're kind of woefully awful when you first start. And it looks like Teal is indeed going to be going for the uh, Tomb of Sargeras. He's producing lots of the Horde Cav... Let's just assume if Teal's producing a unit towards Cavalry. Like if I say, oh, you Teal's brought up an army. Just picture Horde Cavalry with maybe a Catapult and an Elite Squad mixed in. and It's not going to be far off from what he's doing in this game. Oh, okay. So Teal's killing up a few units. Dotton. Dotton. He's saying Dotton. Dot. Dotton. What? Don't what? Don't what? Where's pink? Dawson, motherfucker. <laughs> Hexahodal, what is it? I don't see anything. I think Hexahodal probably just lost his ship full of stuff. <laughs> oh no. Archimon gets actually a big group of these units here. That's very good for him. Oh my god. Each one of these is worth so much experience to him. Oh, it's like a chunk. God, he needs to get in a big fight. Honestly, don't know what the plan is right now. I have attack. no understanding of what kind of tactics we're looking at. Blue is just killing off stray units of teal, trying to level up Archimon as much as he can, bit by bit. You can see how little damage he actually does at the end of the day. I think five of these would kill him <laughs> if he didn't cast any spells. <gasps> is teal moving up? Oh my god, teal is moving up. He's just ignoring the fact that they do damage and killing them off anyway. There we go. Green's gonna land. That's excellent. Just using the navy to shift the units back and forth here. They can all reinforce whoop, whoop, back here and just defend these two gates as well as they possibly can. Teal is sending a lot of these units up here. But my suspicion is that Simbiel can handle it. He knows what he's doing. There we go. Lots of sheeps going down. The polymorph lasts for fucking ever. Oh, that's beautiful. What the? Did he? Did he banshee those? I think he bansheed those. That's awesome. <laughs> Xenon, red, bansheed all he... That's great. You should just keep a thing of banshees around at all time. And every time UTL sends those units up, just grab some more 8-8 horde cavalry for yourself. <laughs> Xenon, banshee, uh, mind controlled <laughs> UTL's units. That's great. Oh, where's his teleport going? Kargath, come on. Okay, he's going south. Is it because Brown landed? Yeah, actually, Brown might be in a little bit of trouble right now. Uh, Teal's going to start moving south and, and smashing his face. 
and Brown doesn't have anyone to teleport it. He needs to build something and get Light Blue in there right now. West Flame, where the fuck are you? West Flame, you are out of position, my friend. Do you have a scroll of teleportation? No, you are completely unprepared to help your ally right now. There is... Oh no, Brown. UTL's got all these frigates here. Okay. Brown's gonna do pretty good against UTL. He's got four or five upgrades. He's got a great choke point right here, except for the fact that UTL managed to get all of his Blade Masters in behind the lines and start attacking the ever so important units. Oh, kill him off. Come up. Oh, there goes the Whirlwind doing oh so much damage. Holy shit. Scepter of the Queen just got dropped. Horn of Scenarius. Aelidin is dead. More importantly, uh, Malfurion and. Oh, God. Uh, oh, Brown. Oh. Brown lost Scenarius. I don't mean Brown lost Scenarius. Like, Brown lost Scenarius. I mean, there was. <laughs> Woo! Clan game says take on Spear and then just leaves the fucking game. It's like he's given up, even though he still had plenty of stuff. UTL has not won. You guys can still do this. You can still beat UTL. Oh, what is this? OJ moving out against Brown. He's going to take some of the control points. He figures, why not? I've got a ton of extra gold. I'm not spending on anything else. Battle mages. Battle mages are wonderful units when fully upgraded. When not, they kind of suck. Red just basically throwing away the occasional unit to Teal because he has no interest in actually fighting. All right, Frozen Grip taking stuff. Uh, did the North Alliance... Whoa, West Flame left the game. Looks like Light Blue's out of it, too. Kalimdor's up for grabs completely. The Horde is still here. Actually allied to Red now. <gasps> oh, you gotta be careful. All oh, those Blade Masters want to kill everything. Damn, they move so fast. All right, Mike Theridan taking a little bit of extra... This is actually a very good choke point for Red and Gray. They're... Don't give it up. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. It's okay to lose a Death Knight if you win the fight. Uh, you lost the Death Knight, but you might not win the fight. What's going on behind the lines? I don't know. Purple. Purple is being a little annoying behind the lines. Frozen Grip left the game. Oh, an excellent hit there from Archimon's ability. Doing a ton of damage to these backline units. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. A nice stun. <gasps> UTL might be on the back foot. This fight's going in the favor of his enemies. Is UTL... I don't think Blue is allied to Grey, because Grey's Spirit Hawk is fighting... Oh no, okay, it's UTL Limited Special. Okay, never mind, I take it back. That Spirit Hawk does a lot of damage. Come on, just one more big... Oh, right there, just right there, just, oh, just right there. Oh, he's making you back up. Oh, it's not good. Using Archimon's ultimate, hoping to stun, but it's actually not placed very well. There we go. Some of the suns start to go off. <gasps> he might catch Magtheridon out of position. Okay. The fight might have just changed. All the Blade Masters are going to get out. And he might fail to save the Scepter of the Queen. It's on Ren Blackhand. But just not enough upgrades on these Infernals to make them anywhere near strong enough. Magtheridon is doing insane amounts of cleave damage up there in the front. Oh, facing the wrong way right now. There we go. Turning around and starting to reassert his badassery. Teal, in the meantime, bringing up some frigates. 1-1 one, one upgrades on those. There we go. Nice stun. Come on, just focus back there and for like one second, would you? He's doing a lot of damage to you. Thank God Teal doesn't have any battleships right there. That would really switch the tone of this fight. But in the meantime, while he's in the middle of this big micro-intensive fight, he's still sending out transports to go ahead and land on his opponent's shores, steal things, break buildings, ruin people's days. Archimon did an excellent hit there, killing off most of the units. Did Ren get out? I think Ren might have died. Did Ren die? Ren did die. All those items are now up for grabs. Oh shit. All those items are now up for grab. Horn of Scenarius. Somebody. Oh my god. The Orc Champion has the Scepter of the Queen and he's not going to tell anyone. He's just like, shh, it's mine. It's not mine. I'm totally just dicking with you. Oh, but what is UTL going to do? Okay. Now, if UTL is super smart and just aims these things, he could theoretically win. Come on. 
gets six groups. UTL. Just get your units out of there and focus on aiming. <laughs> Let's see if he does it. It is, it is like five versus one right now, so I'd be sort of okay if he did that. Gray saying aiming. Oh, looks like he is aiming. He's telling to block it, but the units might get through before the block is complete. They're streaming through. They're streaming through. Teal's got a lot of units in here. Blue, however, streaming in with reinforcements. Uh, okay. Teal. I don't know if this is going to be enough from UTL. There we go. Activating all the abilities. UTL might actually be a little outclassed here. He's got double the upgrades his opponent has, but not enough units, and he's on not on the home ground advantage anymore. Meanwhile, looks like a landing party from... Ah, West Flame left. Who's controlling West Flame? No, no, but there we go. We see UTL trying to reproduce his army, still hold things off. And there's Zula the Whack. Ugh, I mean, Zula had the Whack. Be very careful. Teal is getting cleaned up. There we go. Yellow and Klopp leaves the game voluntarily. He's out of it. Blue and Red cleaned up the aim attempt. I don't even know if it was an aim attempt more than just like a... I just want to destroy stuff. Oh, but meanwhile, Teal, this is actually going very effectively for him. He's getting more and more control points in the Kalimdor area. Oh my god, he's even got Darkshore. And Chandris is gonna die. <laughs> Red Black Hand. Maybe you should stop giving him items. It doesn't seem to work out very well for him. Basically, good and evil are working together against the slightly bigger evil. Gray, build something at Kelimdor fast. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, back there to getting stunned. Remember, spells for the North Alliance are way more important than the actual basic unit types. Kargath falls as well. All these units are... Uh, uh. There you go, that's what UTL needs. He needs demolishers. He needs to land those demolisher hits on the caster lines of the North Alliance, and then it's G to the G. Saying, hurry, hurry, build something in uh, Kalimdor. Probably wants to get up here and get the tree as quickly as possible since there are no Night Elves left anymore. And the only other force that would have opposed him is gone. Alright, where's Archimon? My guess is he's... Whoa. Teal. Teal's got a huge batch of ships on the way. Oh my god. Alright, which is good because he is losing the shit out of this army. He just lost like all his heroes. That was obscene. Alright, he's got to land and hope that he can build stuff before he loses. Alright, go. Go, my children. I'll tell you what, though. UTL does not stop pushing, man. He does not stop pushing, and that is why he is so strong. We're seeing here that it's just so effective for him to continue to push in any direction at any point. He might be, not be pushing in the direction that he was previously, but he'll just switch it up. He'll send units somewhere elsewhere. He'll have this giant drop just waiting to kill things at any moment. And he can land it anywhere. He can land it on Kalimdor or Northrin. He's got all this covered. He's fine. And now he's land positioned these ships perfectly to take advantage of that weakness. Oh, it's going to be interesting. UTL, vastly outnumbered. Vastly out, like, mind fu See, here's the thing. There are so many different minds controlling armies against him right now that it's just a little bit unfair. And he has to be extremely careful not to overproduce an army because then you'll get unit lag and you won't be able to reinforce. And he's just accepting the fact that he has to have fewer units and just have them be stronger. I would actually advise creating skeletons right now because they're super strong. And, I mean, you lose a few units and suddenly you have like 17 more skeletons. It's really great. All right, UTL, is he going for the aim? No, he's just killing stuff. He's building a base, a spirit lodge, a bestiary, a barracks. Oh, he's got one of everything that he needs. He's ready to continue the fight. Come on, you can do it, guys. Blue, what are your upgrades at? 4-2. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but let's hope. Oh, actually, Teal is taking a fuck ton of damage right now. Oh, my God. But Manoroth might go down. <gasps> Manoroth is going to get Manor aim. No, Manoroth goes down. The Doomguard themselves are actually vastly better at dealing with these units. <laughs> but that's fine. UTL left some units back here in case there was a counterattack. And pretty soon, he's going to be able to start producing everything he needs. Two Spirit Lodges, actually. I wonder if he is going to go for the, the uh, Necrolites. And here, holding the fight at the bridge, we do see that Red has actually got some pretty strong heroes. Oh, oh it's Ramstein. <gasps> Do the Ramstein dance! Damn, he's got a lot of health, a lot of armor, so much damage, and that's only level one of his ability. He gets more abilities and gets stronger as the game goes on. Baron Rivendare, a vastly underrated hero, but it looks like Teal is indeed smashing red here. 
and pretty soon he's going to just be able to start producing more units than anyone can deal with out of Northrend. I mean, once he starts actually focusing on spamming an army, it's going to be very difficult to stop him. And yes, at this point I am voting for UTL just for the fact that he's outnumbered. Like, fuck it, guys. He, I think he has as many control points as everyone fighting him has together. And that's fine. That, that seems fair to me. You would ask, oh, but what about the upgrades? And I would say, oh, what about the micromanaging and the attention span and the... <gasps> oh, Gray! Gray might actually... Gray, just focus these down. Gray, don't fight units. Gray, don't fight units. Gray, don't fight units. Just focus these down, okay? Focus them down, Gray. See, Gray. Oh, Gray. Come on. Gray. Gray. Oh, my God. Gray might have just saved the day with that. That was a brilliant move. He's focusing down these things one by one. No, you can finish the barracks. One hero doesn't matter. Kill these barracks! Fuck! Never mind. Now UTL's gonna start producing them. <laughs> uh, Teal, still doing well here, but you gotta remember Purple and Green have been sitting pretty complacent for a while. Uh, damn, Purple has a lot of heals, including Admiral Proudmore's added to that control group. That's great. Six, four upgrades. Sorry, four, six upgrades for the Silverhand Paladins. They are going to be able to take an absolute beating and give one in return. Oh, they are taking a lot of damage, though. You have to be very careful. It's very easy to get a little bit scared. Garethos in the front line. Everything else is activated. It's Divine Shield. That leaves Garethos extremely vulnerable. We do see all the heals being spent on keeping him alive. Purple's trying to run away, but green is in the way. God, Juku is getting all kinds of out of whack. And there we go. Archimon holding this off. Horde Cavalry, not a chance. Horde Cavalry this way, not a chance. Oh my god, I don't even know how to feel about this. Sometimes I think UTL is winning, and then other times I think he's not. He's clearly not winning in Northrend, but he just smashed purple and green. Ooh, goodness. Nether Dragon Hatchling. Oh, it's dead. We're under attack. We're complete. What's under attack here? Oh, more UTL stuff. <laughs> Damn, UTL's got bases everywhere. We see his units moving up, moving up, moving up. Moving up, moving up, moving up. Blue, what do you... Did you build anything here, Blue? No, Blue can't actually teleport in, even though he wants to get Norgesil, because then he'll get out, kill Jaden as well. Okay, this is actually a very good hold point for the North Alliance. Just has to be care... Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. UTL managed to catch most of those units. Arthas, who goes down... Oh, he just lost most of his heroes and his paladins because Teal was willing to risk losing the Burning Blade Masters to kill that off. And now, here comes the moment of truth. Can they hold? I think they can. Pre reproducing the paladins. It's getting the heroes back out. Bit by bit, more chaplains. What? What is? What are people even doing? I don't understand. Ah. Ah. UTL continually producing units. He's still streaming them up. Horde Cavalry still being his favorite unit. Ooh, back there, they might actually get caught. Back there, Maggie, Maggie, baby. Oh, he's dead. Surrender. You are surrounded. <laughs> Please do not attempt to be move, or we will be shooting ourselves. Teal now moving back because his attack on Northrend was a horrible failure. Come on, UTL, I believe in you. D destroy the Demon Gates. Don't let Archimon get this. It would be bad. Where even is Archimon? Actually, getting strong enough to just solo all kinds of shit. 4 2 upgrades? Still? That got taken out. UTL, still very powerful, but his units are having problems with choke points. Severe problems with choke points. <laughs> He's got to break these elven farms before he can get to these units that are murdering him. In the meanwhile, these archers with their magic damage arrows are doing extra damage to the Horde Cavalry. It's a nice, actually effective counter. More effective than you'd think, and it's really testing UTL to the limit, because <laughs> UTL is feeling very limited right now, is what I'm trying to say. Just due to the fact that he, he has to be in too many places at once. Sure, he's got a ton of control points, but what does that matter when you literally just don't know where to go? Alright, he teleported out. Or didn't. Did he get stunned? What the fuck just happened there? I don't know, but it looks like the North Alliance might be coming out on top this time. 
Oh, oh, but that's a lot of AoE damage on the green lines. Chain heals might not be enough. UTL. You can do it, UTL. You can do it. I believe in you. You're a real man. You're a real boy. Come on, UTL. Another dragon trying to do it. Keep it alive. Oh, yes. Oh, the Blade Masters might be turning the fight. What is he aiming? He's aiming down the healers. What else is he aiming? Oh, he's decided Arthas. He's going to aim Arthas. Nope. Jesus Christ. One on one, I gotta say, I think the uh, the Blade Masters are gonna take it. But that is a scary little force. Look at that. Everything else got killed, and then Purple is forced to run away from that. That is insane. Oh! oh my god, he got the Aerithor crown and the Lordaeron crown. UTL might be back in this game, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, but I am hoping desperately that that's what this portends, because I want UTL to win. He still got this. No one has gotten. No one's gone in here yet. Nobody. Okay. What's going on? Blue trying to take out a few of UTL. Ooh, Malganus could die. There we go. Make him invisible again. Get that free health. Dun, 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 dun. Make way for UTL. Oh, oh. Looks like he wants a new barack. UTL has been reduced to just aiming non-stop. He's not even going to fight anyone else. He's just going to aim everything that has an item and make every player want to quit the game because they lose their items. It's an effective strategy. But how effective will it be once Blue gets Nordrasil? That's the question. <laughs> UTL's like, can I just give up? I don't want to play anymore. Come on, UTL, you can do it. I know it's hard. It's it's almost impossible, in fact, but you just have to crush red and blue, and then it stops being a problem. Just build a base, teleport in, crush him, call it a GG. Oh, Archimon. Okay, I thought Archimon was about to get hit. Teal's got things in Northern again, but unfortunately his units are now just bunching up around the coast and not doing anything. Come on, UTL, build fucking, like, a, just a structure or anything. Or even just take this structure and then teleport onto it. Something. Something. Move this badass unit hero army into Northrend and crush them. Archimon, right here. UTL Unlimited knows what's going on. Nope. Blue's not going to lose Archimon like that. He's not that dumb. Purple taking back Capital City. He demands that it be returned to the possession of the humans. Humans are the true and only owners. Uh, uh. Maybe can he teleport to this? Drag their keep? I wonder. Felguard, no match for Felorc grunts. The grunts are literally laughing as they hack them in tiny little grunt pieces. Ooh, more UTL winning going on over here. Oh, no. oh, he's focusing on the... Wow, man. UTL's got mad micro skills. I wouldn't even notice that builder. He's all over the place. What is going on? Alright, is UTL finally going to kill us off? Yes, it looks like he, he teleported his army over here. He's going for the, the thing of Sargeras. The tomb of Sargeras is going to be UTL's playpen. Wiping everything out, Doom Guard, no upgrades on it. Why do they sometimes have upgrades and then sometimes they don't? I don't... It makes zero sense to me. Purple, cleaning up blue. Oh, oh, Archimon. Oh, God, Archimon, you want to leave. You want to leave now. Archimon, just go. Just Tychondrius, get in a boat and leave. There's a boat right there, Tychondrius. And now Teal's going to have the Eye of Sargeras. So the only question... Oh, oh. Oh my god, Archimon, that was terrifying. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Garethos Bash can stone Archimon. So, I hate to say that. Alright, what's going on? Looks like they're trying to stop them. Eat My Head is built a barracks. He's telling everyone to pour it in, but I'm pretty sure UTL would have left by this time. He's not just going to sit in here and do... He's sitting in here and doing nothing. Okay, now he's teleporting out. There we go. But where is he going? Alright, he's still sitting... I'm gonna eight times... I have no idea what's going on. 
All right, Rokan died. Blue, he's pinging this. He's saying, hey, there's still UTL Unlimited stuff over here. Blue pinging over here, saying there's UTL Unlimited stuff over here. Uh, now UTL has enough units here to take the entirety of Kalimdor. That would really help him out. I'm pretty sure money's not his problem, though. He just wants to deny his opponent's money. Crushing Northrend is going to be the end game problem. If he can get into Northrend with a large enough force, break the Frozen Throne, I don't think purple and green could hold on. I mean, that'll just sort of... <laughs> this is one hell of a city right now. Are you guys seeing Stratholm? It looks gorgeous. Uh, there we go. UTL smashing his way. He's in... Ooh, he's in the bowels of Northrend. <gasps> Eat My Head has got a base down here. A nice little great... People love tucking great halls around right in there. It looks so cool. He's got a little base. It's very cool looking, I have to say. Oh, I love when people get into it just a little bit. Teal, how you doing? Where's I hear stuff dying, but I can't see stuff dying. Huh? Up here. He's aiming down the slaughterhouses. He's taking out all the unit producing structures. <gasps> oh, not enough though. Not enough. These units are streaming up north. <gasps> Archimon trying to make a bit of a dent in UTL's forces, but it looks like UTL's finally dedicated himself to taking Kalimdor. Excellent. I like the move. I like it a lot. If only he had the flying units. To, oh, oh, do, 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 do. oh my god, Archimon. Oh, that was so close. Red and Black Hand really wanted to murder Archimon, but it's not going to happen today. Yeah, well, lots of ships coming out of here. UTL wants to block anyone from landing here. He doesn't want any reinforcements, but oh, reinforcements are exactly what we see. Red's moving in, blue's moving in, pink's moving in, gray's moving in. Pink's not even here. I don't know what I'm talking about. He's going to run smack dab into pink's base. That's fine. Teal, come on. You can do this. What the hell? They just ended. They just ended. What the fuck? That was the most exciting part. Like it was the Kalimdor fight. What the? All right, guys. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna upload this, and I'm gonna spend the next few days trying to find out why the fuck this replay was sent to me with that kind of an ending. Okay, so yeah, uh, I apologize guys, but I promise you I'm going to bring you the end of that game. I'm going to get, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to find out what time I was at, I'm going to fast forward, I'm going to give you the rest of the game, and if it was only like a 10 minute clip, I'll add it on to the end of this, so you might be seeing it added on, I don't know, like, I don't know, soon, but I'm going to try, god, that fucking, that was such a good fight, UTL was all over the place, look at that, UTL killed 1737 units, the next closest one is 643, oh god, are you guys ready for this, I'm going to bring you the end of this game very soon, but until then, I wish you a fond farewell, and I'm going to go yell at some people, this has been Azathin, join me next time for Azeroth Wars.